once but twice, and here I am, living proof. In case you haven't noticed, I am black, and I have been black all my life. This is about. <laughs> what we are going to do is we are going to now be about the business of the Commonwealth. We have things to tend to. We are going to fully fund our historically black colleges and universities. But I've been friends with her. Once she won, the, before she won the candidacy and everything. But she, I'm just excited. I'm excited because she's smart. She's an intelligent woman. She does not get bombarded or sidetracked by the color of her skin. She doesn't want to be judged by her skin color because, again, she's intelligent. She's smart. She knows what she's doing. She does what she says she's going to do. And she's fought for this country in one way, and now she's going to fight for Virginia in a whole nother way. And I'm going to stand with her and all of our candidates, and we are going to take Virginia back. Thanking you, Jesus, how sweet it is. I think the big thing about Winsom Sears and, and the other candidates that won last night, she didn't run on identity politics. She she ran on these kitchen table issues. And I think that will really have a lasting impact, especially as Republicans head into 2022 and, and talk about these issues more and find their agenda and what works. So I think this is a really great example. Last night's win for all three candidates about what works for Republicans and what animates voters. If, if, you know, I win. So that's history for me. But what happens afterwards helps everybody else. It's done. It's history. The day is gone. It's now in the past. It is time to work. So that's why I don't really concentrate so much on the history. It's I want people, children to say, well, if Winsome can do it, I can do it too. Winsome! 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 <laughs>